Remember, safety first. Don't forget an adult and to get any safety equipment you may need for today's experiment. Hi, and welcome to Pop Bang Fizz with the St. Charles Public Library. I'm Miss Amelia, and today we're going to be experimenting with surface tension, AKA bouncing bubbles. By adding different things to our water, we can decrease the surface tension and create bubbles that we should be able to hold in our hands. Let's see what other supplies we need for today's experiment. So, now that we have all our supplies, let's make a hypothesis about what we think is gonna happen when we add our dishwashing detergent and sugar to the water. Are we gonna get really big bubbles? Or are we gonna get really small bubbles? Or are we gonna get Super strong bubbles. Let's make some bouncing bubbles and find out. Okay, first we're gonna take four tablespoons of water and to that we're going to add two tablespoons of sugar. Next, you want to add one tablespoon of Dawn dish soap. Go ahead and mix that up until the sugar dissolves. Once you have the sugar mostly dissolved, now it's time to get out your bubble wands. I've got a couple bubble wands here to play around with. I've even made one with some pipe cleaners. You can see here, if you don't have a bubble wand at home, any size circle will do. Let's see if I twist up. You can even make fun shapes. Let's see if this one will work too. And you're going to take a clean, dry glove. This one's hard to see, mine is black. I also have a little kid one that's blue here. But you put the glove on because the oils in your hands will pop the bubble. And then you won't be able to bounce anything. What fun is that? So I'm gonna take my homemade um, bubble wand. This is just a pipe cleaner that I wrap into a circle. I'm gonna dip it in here. And I'm gonna blow the bubble. Let's see what happens. Well, that didn't work either. If you find your bubble solution is too thin, like maybe mine is a little bit, you can try to add a little more Dawn, a little more dishwashing detergent to it to try and thicken it up a bit too. Sometimes that'll help. Make sure some of our bubble solution runs off. Oh. <gasps> Wow, that's awesome. If you find that your gloves aren't letting the bubble bounce, you might need to, it could be too wet if you've tried too many times before. Um, and it could be that your gloves are dirty. So the dirt and oil on things are going to break the surface tension. That's why we put the gloves on, remember? So if your gloves have dirt and oil on them, that's gonna pop the balloon. But if you got some clean gloves, oh wow! Look at it, I made a really cool outside of the bubble. Remember guys, it's an experiment. Have fun. Thanks for watching Pop Bang Fizz. If you enjoyed today's experiment and would like to learn more about science, head to the St. Charles Public Library website and check out our online resource called Science Flicks. To access this great resource, all you need is your library card number and PIN. You can read articles, watch videos, and even find more experiments. Have fun with Science Flicks today. Link in the description below. You can also check out our other videos or subscribe to our YouTube channel to see what we do next. Let's try one more.
Oh, <laughs> yo,